Hello everybody, how y'all doing? I'm coming back with y'all again. Um, I did a video the other night uh, testing my uh, CBL 2005 uh, Olympias Olympias blogger mic and I noticed I had the volume settings down turned down too low so I readjusted everything and everything going good so what I'm going to do is while I'm testing out my mic I'm gonna go ahead on and also do my daughter's PC built list and soon she's gonna be building her computer so and this is the part that she's picking for her PC Alrighty, we start off with the Rosewood ATX mid top gaming PC computer case with dual ring RGB LED fans. It has a 360 set up front. You can put a 360 full or you can put a 360 radiator. You can go ahead and mount up top a 240 millimeter um, radiator or a 280 millimeter radiator. This is good here. The reason why I chose this case is because it comes with four fans for install, three up front, two on the back, and Rosewood makes some great, great products. Moving right along is the Gigabyte 8520M DS3H AM4 motherboard with PCIe 3.4 M.2 drive. Um, this is a great motherboard. This will be doing good for her gaming. And if she want to go ahead and do a little et cetera, et cetera, she could go ahead on and she could do some streaming, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This will be a good boy for her team and it rips. The Gigabyte right on our X588 Gigabyte graphic card. Moving around along, team up with the budget, but still a beast processor, the Ryzen 5, 3606 core, 12 thread, 3.6 gigahertz base boost and with a boost clock of 4.2 so she can't go wrong with this so this is gonna be a good system for her good boy good everything so moving that right along i'm teaming it with they do a kit team t4's vulcan z 16g 16 gigabyte that's two eight gigabyte sticks at 288 pin ddr4 and she would not be doing she won't be doing no overclocking so this is just a basic setup for her to play her games her fortnights her legoland and all the other foolishness she likes to play so but this would be a good thing for her teaming it with the team group mp 33 m.2 2280 512 gigabyte pcie 3.0 by times four with nvme 1.3 3D and a N D SSD stick drive. This is great. Coming in good, coming in strong. And going right along for some extra storage. I'm going with the Seagate Barracuda ST4000 DM004 4 terabyte 54 RPM 256 megabyte catch at SATA 6.0 gigabytes per second. 3.5 hard drive and the, the power supply is the EVGA 600 watt power supply bronze non modular active PFC power supply teamed up with the Beast Power Coolers ID Cooling SE 224XT Basic CPU cooler, um, thermal design power of the CPU cooler it goes up to 180. So yes, this little monster here could go ahead and handle anything you throw at it. And with the operating system, you could get that on eBay at $25.99, which is good for the build. So if you need Windows 10, you go to eBay and get it for you, for, for your system, for the cheap low low. For $25.99. And moving back to the base bill, the whole total system bill is $85.859.75 for the base PC built parts with the operating system. And all that comes up to all that comes up to eight hundred and eighty five dollars and seventy four cent 
Yes, I kept it under 900. I could have went head on and, you know, increased the parts. But why do that, though, when you know how, if you know how to build the system, whether you're doing a price list for someone that you're building the system for, or you're doing it for yourself, I know how to stick with the budget. I don't need to be monetized, so, you know, because I'm not really using any of these good parts. I use parts and quality good parts that's going to be good for the build. So, enough said, the whole system totally comes up to $885.74, putting it well under 900 Yes, I got good parts. You can go ahead and you can stream off of it with the Gigabyte Radar RX580, which still is a strong good power graphic card. If you don't want that, you go ahead and swap out parts. But when you do that, you're going to go ahead on and increase the increase the budget cost. But if you got a little more money to play with, that's good. Um, with the new um, processors coming out, it's on the uh, A520M. So... It's on the 500 series, so yes, they do have the processors it's coming up. We just pay team up with this uh, budget beast, still beast mode, the five, the Ryzen 5, 3600, six core, 12 thread processor, 3.6 gigahertz um, base, and with a 4.2 gigahertz max boost, still a beast, still does what it do in streaming and gaming. This is why people still own it, still buy it. It's coming at 199.99. With the new processors are coming out tomorrow, I hope that this drops down by at least thirty to forty dollars tops. And enough said. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Um, hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. And once again, I like to thank y'all for watching. Peace.